All right, so we have here is a system of equations with three variables, three equations. The goal is to find the value or values of x, y, and z that satisfy each equation. So there's a lot of different strategies for solving a system, but the, um, the main one is if you have three variables, the first goal is to get this down to two equations, two unknowns. So as you can see, this last equation only has an x and a y in it. So it makes sense to take the first two equations and eliminate the z. Remember, you have a lot of flexibility with which variable you eliminate, but we have to make sure that it's a, you know, that it's useful for us. So I'm going to take the first two equations and eliminate z. Now what that means is, I'm looking at those coefficients, I want to make sure that they cancel each other out when we add. So we're going to multiply the first equation by negative 15 first which remember means multiplying both sides of the equation by negative 15. And that gives us negative 15x minus 15y minus 15z equals negative 4,500. And then I'm going to couple that with the second equation, the one with the 15 in it, because that was the one that kind of steered everything. And when we do that, we add them together. And let's see, negative 15x plus 10x is negative 5x. This is negative 3y. Those cancel out. And this is negative 1040. Now, the first thing I notice is all three of those numbers are negative. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1, which basically just means I'm switching the signs of everything, just to make the equation look a little bit cleaner and more friendly. Now we have an equation with x and y only. But I have another equation with x and y only. So now I'm going to take that equation and I'm going to pair it with that one now. So that system, that mini system, is going to allow us to find x and y. So to do that, we need to be able to, again, we could do substitution, we could do elimination, whatever. Um, I like to stick with elimination once I start with elimination. I'm going to multiply the first equation by 2 because I'm going after the y since they're opposite signs, and I'm gonna multiply the second equation by three. Now you can do this any way you want to, but this is just the way I'm going about it, just to illustrate elimination as much as we can. So multiplying everything by two, we get that, and multiplying the second one by three, we get that. And then we're gonna add those together because that was the whole reason why we did this. Whoops right effect but wrong way to do it. I wanted to cross those out. So we have 13x equals 2080, which means x is equal to 2080 over 13, which I believe is 160. So we have x. Great. How do we get the other variables? Well, now I have to look back at all of the equations that we, that we have and try to find one variable at a time. Notice we have x minus 2y equals 0, so you can easily find y. So x is 160 minus 2y equals 0, which means 2y equals 160, which means y is equal to 80. So I'm just going to box these in here so we have our solution. And now we go back to one of the equations with x, y, and z. So if I scroll back up, notice the first equation looks simplest to work with, so I'm going to use that one. You could use the second one if you wanted to. You should still get the same answer. So with that said, we know that x plus y plus z is equal to 300. I know that x is 160. I know that y is 80. And when I add these two together, I get 240. So if I subtract 240 from both sides, I get z equals 60. So there's our solution. Now remember, we can also represent the solution as an ordered triple, which is x comma y comma z. And that means in this case, and it just so happens we found them in that order, that was kind of a fluke. But there we have it. So that is our solution to this system, which means if you substitute x equals 160, y equals 80, and z equals 60 to each equation, it'll work. And that is the only solution that works. Thank you for watching.